Hi, meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. We have a chilly first full day of fall. Temperatures running well below average, and those gusty north northwest winds are certainly adding to the cold feel. Winds have been gusting to around 30 miles per hour and will stay windy tonight and into Saturday morning. Highs today more than 10 degrees below average in the upper 50s. So it's going to be a cool evening if you're headed to any high school football games. Dry skies and mostly clear. 55 though already by 6 p.m. and then in the upper 40s by 10 o'clock at night. Late tonight, expecting some of the coldest temperatures since the spring, 42 degrees for an overnight low. Uh, certainly keeping an eye on the tropics. We have two named storms and two newly formed tropical depressions. Of course, Hurricane Fiona giving us those large waves and rip current concerns at our coastline today. Tropical Storm Gaston, not a threat to the United States, but we do have to keep a very close eye on Tropical Depression number nine and Tropical Depression number 10 still closer to the coast of Africa. No threat to the US anytime soon. Here's a look at Fiona this morning back up to a category four storm as of the 11 a.m. update with 130 mile per hour sustained winds. It's moving to the northeast now at 35 miles per hour. It's going to plow into the Canadian Maritimes, bringing storm surge, flooding, damaging wind gusts. This will be hurricane force as it approaches. Uh, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland and Prince Edward Island later this evening and tonight for us again just those fringe effects 5 to 11 foot waves expected along the coastline and just offshore. In fact, those are the sort of wave heights that we're seeing now as we head into the afternoon 11 foot waves south and east of Nantucket. Here's the latest track of tropical depression number nine. You can see it's expected to uh, become a named storm, eventually a hurricane, possibly by the end of the weekend. And then from there, the forecast now is concerning having it as a major hurricane as it approaches the west coast of Florida by Wednesday. So we'll be keeping you updated on that temperature Saturday morning, starting off with that chill. But the good news here is that that doesn't stick around for long. Upper 60s to near 70 by Saturday afternoon. While we're dry through the day Saturday and most of Sunday, we do have the chance for a couple of showers by the end of the weekend. This is around 3 o'clock on Sunday. You can see that rain to the west of us trying to push in. So some scattered showers by the evening hours. Most of that holding off until after the Pats game is all wrapped up. So a milder weekend, especially once we get through Saturday morning. You can get all the details on the full forecast on WPRI.com.